T-minus 10 seconds and counting. Engine start has begun. And liftoff is confirmed. Liftoff confirmed at 2.53 and 6 seconds p.m. Central Time. The 53rd Progress Resupply Ship en route on a holiday mission to the International Space Station. Reports indicate that uh, the first stage performance is nominal. Pitch and roll program initiated. All systems on the Soyuz booster in good shape so far. 47 seconds into the flight. The Soyuz uh, now uh, going through its period of maximum dynamic pressure. Engine and combustion chamber performance is all nominal according to the reports on the blockhouse at Baikonur. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, continuing uh, to receive uh, nominal reports from the blockhouse at Baikonur, the progress heading uphill. We're coming up on first stage separation and the uh, jettisoning of the four strap-on boosters. Yaw, pitch and roll, all nominal. First stage separation is confirmed at an altitude of 30 miles. The uh, Soyuz booster and the Progress vehicle now 73 miles downrange. Second stage engines reported up and running in great shape. The uh, launch shroud around uh, the Progress vehicle has been jettisoned at an altitude of 52 miles. The Soyuz booster now 102 miles downrange. Vehicle is reported very stable. Its trajectory downrange reported uh, on the money. Engine performance is nominal. Three and a half minutes into the flight, all parameters are reported normal. The uh, second stage engines will burn until the four minute 47 second mark at which time uh, they will burn out and the second stage will separate. Four minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. The uh, Soyuz booster and the Progress 53 resupply ship continuing to fly straight down the pike. All uh, systems in great shape. Just a few seconds away from uh, the point of second stage separation and jettisoning.
Coming up on the five minute mark into the flight. Second stage separation is confirmed at an altitude of 104 miles. The Soyuz booster in the progress now 179 miles downrange. About four minutes of powered flight remaining.